Okay, if you're following along with this series, you should have already bought your domain name, purchased a HostGator hosting account, and installed WordPress. And if you've followed all these steps correctly that I've taken you through so far, you're going to be able to see this screen, this uh, blank kind of WordPress theme, when you type in your URL, whatever URL it is that you purchased into the web browser. In this example, I'm using carportreview.org as the niche website that I'm about to send up or set up I should say. Now the next step that you're going to want to do is actually download the theme that you want for this website. Now in the process that I'm doing I'm using the flex squeeze theme and you can see this theme at flexsqueeze.com. Now as you can see the theme actually costs $127 and I understand if you don't want to, you know, purchase that or invest that much right now. Uh, there are plenty of free WordPress themes. It's not really a super big deal. I just like Flex Squeeze because they have a lot more features than most WordPress themes. There are lots of different fonts that you can use and kind of buttons and images that just look really good. And if you were to actually, you know, get a web designer to work on a, a custom theme for you, that would end up costing a lot more money than 127 bucks. So for me personally, I like to use this theme, but you don't have to. Okay, so assuming you are following along with uh, the exact same system that I use, you're gonna purchase Flex Squeeze, and then you're gonna get an email from Flex Squeeze that says in the title, welcome to Flex Squeeze. You're gonna wanna click on that email. Inside that email, you're gonna get a username and password to log into their membership area. And here's a quick look at what the membership area looks like. It's pretty simple, but the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is just download the Flex Squeeze theme. So uh, when you log in, just double click on this, download the theme, and preferably you're gonna to wanna to put it right on your desktop. And as you can see, I've already downloaded the Flexible Squeeze theme to my desktop. You don't need to unzip this file, just leave it as is right there uh, where you can find it. And in these next steps, I'm going to show you how to actually upload Flex Squeeze to your WordPress website. So as I stated before, we are at uh, carportreview.org right now. This is the basic template. What you're going to need to do is actually log into your WordPress CMS now, or your WordPress dashboard as it's often called. And how you're gonna do that is you're gonna just typically type in the name of your website into the browser slash WP hyphen admin, and then just hit return. And then you're gonna to get to your WordPress entry screen, just like this. Type in your username and password. I'm going to log in. Now, after you log in, you're going to want to navigate over to the left side here and click on Appearance. And then just click Themes. This is actually the screen that shows up by default anyways. And next, you're going to want to navigate up here and then click on Install Themes. After that, you're going to get another little navigation that pops down below. Click the upload button, then click browse. And in this case, I've got the zip file located right there on my desktop. And then I'm just going to click install to install the file from my desktop. In this install process, you're just going to want to be a little bit patient. Uh, depending on how fast your internet access is, it's going to take anywhere between one and five minutes to upload this. So like I said, just be patient. It shouldn't take too long to get done. And hopefully everything uploads correctly. Okay. And that's it. We have successfully uploaded the Flex Squeeze theme. As you can see, it installed the theme and you'll get this little message here that says theme installed successfully. If it didn't install successfully, there will typically be some sort of a message 
listed there that explains why. If that does occur, um, follow the instructions and uh, just try and troubleshoot it from there. But typically it's really is that easy to get Flex Squeeze uploaded. Now, that's it for this video, but in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create a license key and actually activate this theme on your website.